Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part 38 of Let's Play XCOM 2. Before we go on our next mission, I'm going to spend some money because we have a bunch. And uh, we're kind of getting to that point in the game where I no longer have a huge backlog of things, you know, that we need it for. So uh, I'm going to make a bunch of purchases here in the Guerrilla Tactics School. Let's do Integrated Warfare to bump up the effectiveness of our PCS bonuses. Stay with me so that soldiers are less likely to die. And dead shot for my sharpshooter. I'm going to pass on this one. Um, nah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and make a clean sweep. Okay, so with that done... I was also thinking that what I might do is um, upgrade the Scilab. Although, he's getting so close to being fully trained. Maybe I'll just hold off. Uh, I am going to start training another Psy, though. He is so good. If he gets wounded, I'd hate to just be completely without. Okay, well, we're going to East Africa. I think it's time we assault this uh, black site. So there's only going to be nine enemies there. The only. The By our recent standards, that's not so bad. But since there's two black sites up and running, I really don't want to, you know, leave it that way any longer than I have to. I see, so I can't have the AP rounds with him if he's got the um, the spider suit on. That's a little disappointing. Uh, let me see, can I do this? Can I swap? Yeah, I'll do without the grenade. And then, what can I give Amber? She might want the blue screen rounds. It's going to be both mechs and uh, sec a sectopod there. I definitely want him to have the medikit, but actually, you know, do I want him or do I want Abby? And I think the reality is I probably want Abby. So let's go ahead and remove him and we'll bring her. Because they're both colonels now. It's not like I need to worry about getting him promoted. Now, I was going to try and get somebody else a promotion. I think what I'll do... Hmm. Yeah, the psionic has really kind of changed my mix here. I'm going to try out Django. We upgraded him a couple different ways last time. And then I equipped the war suit. So, um, yeah... I actually upgraded Abby as well. I wonder if I should bring her. Oh, there she is. I'm sorry. I said Abby. I meant Amber. All right. So we only have one Grenadier, which I'm not entirely happy about. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this group a try. It's kind of... Um, a situation where you only have so many slots, right? I got very used to having two grenadiers, but the aliens have a secure facility hidden in this area conducting research crucial to the Avatar project. And we've got enough information at this point to move in and take it out. Once we reach the AO, head to the designated position and plant the X4 charges. When they're armed, get clear, and we'll blow that place to hell. Menace 1 5. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X 4 charges. All right. All right. Where's Paladin? So, this looks like a good first step. And this looks like. A reasonable second step. Okay, he doesn't see anything. Now, um, I'll bring Amber here. 
Reporting on target location. Okay. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. I think I'll bring her here. And that roof could be an okay perch for Mike. I oh, should I just went past him. <laughs> All right, perfect. He can get there. No need to ask twice. Okay. Why it's quiet out here, huh? So, I don't see any reason to go slow at this point. And I'll just move Abby up here. And I'm going to do something very similar with Django. In fact, I think I'll just move him here. He's got a guaranteed chance to hit any of them. Now, I upgraded her with both movement and magazine size. So I could move her here. That's not a bad spot. She could get flanked, though. That's, that's a concern. Is this actually better? It might be. I don't, I don't have a great spot for him either. And I'm nervous about moving too far up like once we engage them. I shouldn't have gone past Django so quickly. Hmm, I don't like being behind half cover. You know, I'm almost wondering if I should just let them come to me now. I don't like giving up the initiative. What if I did this? I'm probably not angled right. You know, I'm just a little too far back, I think. But I can hit two of them. That's not terrible. I'm just very tempted to... Um, not do what I normally do. Um, hmm. I don't know. I guess what I need to do is I need to actually move her here. Headed there now. And I am going to put her. Wow. That was weird. I just heard a sectopod big time. I'm going to put her on Overwatch. I'm going to hold off on him for a second. See, I don't really want to use him on anybody but the big guy. Because I'll bypass all that armor. And I'm very much tempted to just chill out with him too. Because he doesn't really have a good shot. I'd much rather just see, you know, what he can do. Abby doesn't. She doesn't even have a view on these guys. Yeah. Wow, this is not good. See, there's just no good full cover to move up to. I could bring him here, but then I can't go this turn for sure. I do think what's going to happen is they're going to walk that direction. Yeah, all right. I want to go, but I think uh, I think we kind of need to get a better positioning. So what I'll do, I'll move her here. All right. Let me just make sure. 
Should be clear. Okay. Um. Yeah, I need I need to get closer. Moving on target location. Oh damn it! Could have done without that. see the stupid sectopod anymore that almost scares me more so yeah, this is awkward I can still hit two but not three nonetheless I'm thinking that's a good way to go um, I can hit two of them for Good guaranteed damage. So, oh, he can't... Really? He can't see any of them? Are you serious? Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm just going to blanket that area. Okay. And then... Um... I'm going to let her kind of be a floater this turn. I'm going to do the same with him. Where can she go? If anywhere. I could come here. It's not full cover. I'm a little worried. Actually, I'll come here. Honestly, I think that's better. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh my god, the others can see her now. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. That's not okay. I can't do that. I can't. Understood. Moving out. I just cannot bring the sectopod down on us at the same time we do the other. Uh, I'm... Still gonna go this turn because she's not a particularly heavy hitter. So, do I want to use Django this way? Like, actually, hang on a second. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna minimize Overwatch this time. I'm gonna let most of these guys just take their turn but what I am going to do I'm going to use chain shot yeah we're going to do this I think I can just kill him well no I only had a 92% chance I don't know what I was thinking so, kill zone will do some damage, but yeah, that didn't work out too well. Oof. Oh man. Okay. Um. Now, I gotta be careful because that stupid thing was over there. So, what I want to do is like come here and use the lance. I might be able to get both those guys. If I came here, would they see me? Uh, I'm not sure. This is probably the best angle I'm going to get for the Lance. Damn it. All right. That's what I was trying to avoid. Mm 
Yeah, that's not good. Just out of curiosity. Nope. Can only hit one. Well, I was nervous about that. Doesn't really matter now. I can get those two. That makes me feel better. Yeah, okay. You can't run from my power. Yeah, that's why I did it, because I knew I'd kill the one guy, but this is pretty terrible. Um yeah, I went to some lengths to avoid that and um, didn't work. So, killing this guy the first time isn't even that challenging, but I think actually what I should do is I'm going to come here. Let's run and gun. Oh, not Reaper. Run and gun. And, um, yeah, I'm going to come here because I'm going to kill this shield bearer. Ugh. I guess instead I'll just activate literally everything on the map. That sounds better. Well, I can't move, so there's no point worrying about it. So let's just kill him. And now she can take her beating in a second. Um, so now, here's the question. I mean, I can use him and that's fine. He's literally the only one who can go. And I feel like I don't have a good move. Anywhere I go, it's so easy to get flanked. The only even halfway decent shot I have is at him. Um, God, I mean, do I need to like come here and throw a grenade like come here oh I don't even have a grenade so that doesn't matter and this thing it has so little health okay well I'm gonna come here Moving to position. and I'm gonna kill this guy yeah Okay. So now I'll come back here. On the move. I don't like this. I botched it fairly badly, actually. If he fires, uh... okay, good. Uh, he's gonna hit Django. Please miss. <sighs> he didn't miss. Not even a little. Mm. Okay, this is bad because I don't have any cover. I don't know what that translates to because some kind of visual bug. They didn't bother to show me. Actually, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, now this could get ugly. <laughs> okay. Next one is uh, not for free, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we get some kind of random perk since they took a crit. So that makes it all okay. Huh? Huh? Okay. Um, let me think. Can I? Yes. He's out of ammo, unfortunately. That's a little awkward. Well, let's do this. Good to go. 
100%, 100%. Well, I have a chance to take this guy down. But am I one short? No, three. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> that isn't even a little frustrating. I probably need to keep stasis in my back pocket here. Um, I think what I want to do is uh, put as big a dent in around. this sectopod as I can. And so I can't use rupture again. Uh, I shouldn't have actually come this close, but whatever. Let's just shoot. Should have shot with Django first, but. Um, hey, can Abby hack this guy? That would be interesting since we just lowered his, uh, ability. His resistance. I only have a 31%. Wow. She didn't lower it much. Oh, I don't have that uh, thing. That's why. Alright. Well, this isn't really that good. I'm not going to bother. I don't have the skull jack. Or I would have had a better chance. But I still think I wouldn't have tried to take him over. Let me do this. I'll come up here. And I just realized that um, I stupidly didn't position myself properly for this. So I wanted her to go after the other guy. And uh, I botched it. So. Yay, me. Okay. I'm running out of guys here, which isn't great. Um, how many do I have left? I have Django. And I have him and Paladin, and that's it. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of kind of bad. Let me just move here, and then I gotta kill him right now. Okay. Yep, I know he's coming right back. So now Django Yeah, Django's just gonna as much as I wanted to use him on the sectopod, he just needs to kill this guy. And then I'm going to use stasis. Come here. Make sure the turrets can't get me. Uh, I'm going to use stasis on the sectopod. Oh, for Pete's sake. Come on. Now... This may seem weird, but I actually want to walk right up to this guy. Um, and not just for that crap. I want him to attack Paladin. So hopefully he will. Yeah. Yep. And that's why I wanted him to attack Paladin. Okay, so now we need to kill these two guys, and that's what we're going to go for. So before I do anything else, I need to get her far enough away that she won't get hurt when he goes boom. So I'll come here, and I'm pretty sure that should do the trick. And I might as well just use her. That's what I thought. And let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I can't kill him that way. Could I with Deadeye? No, not unless I get lucky and get a crit. So we need to soften him up. Um, okay, he might do a little too much softening, but that's all right. 
I won't use uh, the rapid fire. I'll just hit him once. Although, if I crit, that'll be too much. Hold on. I need someone with a softer touch. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, this should do it. I don't have any chance to crit. I should have reloaded them, but that's okay. Okay. So now... Do I need Deadeye? I don't. It doesn't look like. Just to be safe, I'll do it. It's very difficult for me to count when there's all those tiny little small bars. And they always show you like the best case scenario if you do max damage. So uh, this way I just knew we Let's could get the kill. This. Okay, so I'm going to reload him. And we are a little beat up, I have to admit. So let me do this. Who is hurt worse? Probably Django. Healer mode. And then I think Amber is hurt. Also pretty badly. Well, I don't think she's hurt. I know she's hurt. Wait. What? How do I have zero heals left after that? I don't get it. She does have... Yeah. Huh. I don't get it. She's supposed to get extra charges on the med kit. Locked and loaded. I don't get it. Okay, well, uh, hopefully it won't say zero after this turn, but I don't know. Okay, so we know the turrets are over there. And I think this time I'll stand on this side of the tree. So she has a decent chance of hitting, but I want to let Mike take first crack. Yep, he has a very high percentage chance, and armor is not really a thing for him. Good shot. It's not dead, but it's a good shot. Let's try her. Wish I had gone in the opposite order, because she's a colonel and he's not, but... I didn't. Um, okay, I can't. Oh boy, I hear another sectopod. Okay. Um, I'm going to come here. I don't know, that might have been a bad call. Keep hearing that stupid thing stomp. It's very disconcerting. I think this was a bad idea too. Okay, the turret can't see me. So I actually think I'll stay exactly where I am. Um yeah, no, she has no heals left. Call me crazy. I think that's a bug. Cause I have the nano kit. The nano, at least I think I do. How else could I have healed him if I didn't have it? Is that what I did? Did I forget when I took it off of Doc? Did I forget to put it on her? Maybe. I don't know. Boy, that would be pff, not good. Not good at all. So where am I going to go with him? Um, I'll stand here. I gotta get him up front. He's not gonna do me any good back there. Okay. Um, let's come up. Okay. Um, there's no ladder anywhere. Yep, there it is. Okay, let me go ahead and take a shot at him. Try to soften him up. <laughs> is it dead? <laughs> okay, well, I gotta admit. Um, you know, sometimes you just can't win, man. 
I was trying to soften it up. You saw. You heard. I think I think we're going to have to start moving forward. I don't think I can stay here. Moving to designated coordinates. And then I'll just reload them. I don't know, man. I keep hearing that sectopod stomping around like a sectopod. <laughs> Uh, Overwatch. Abby, you move up. Closing on target position now. Django, let's reload before I forget. What does this do? Shield wall. All oh, right. Right. So I provide high cover to squad mates when I, when I stand in one spot. Which is kind of a strange ability. Considering I don't really like you break it if you move or shoot and that just seems pointless When am I gonna want to not do anything with him, but eh, whatever we'll see um, Yeah, I don't Love that option I Move with her first yeah, maybe it's time to um, open this. Let's move already. We'll, uh, we'll get some support up here first. Uh, can she hack it? No. What are we supposed to... Oh, we're putting uh, charges on there, so... Okay, I'll bring him here, sure. And yeah, just get him forward, man. Oh wow, I did not realize she was dry. I should have, I should have paid more attention for sure. Um. Yeah, let's just put him on Overwatch. All right, I think we're ready to open the door. I don't think there's anything in there. Well, there may be something in there, but not, not right where we can see. Hmm. Come here. Anything? No? Okay. All right, I'll plant the X4. That may not have been a good idea. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for um, the reason I say that is um, from the standpoint that we know there's a sect pot out there, and then I think what's going to happen is that there's going to be. Oh, can I just go? Is that, is that a thing? Hang on. Let me just call. Yeah. All right. We're just going to go. Yeah. I, I was thinking, oh, there's going to be reinforcements coming and all kinds of crap. And you know what? We just, we don't even need to stick around for that noise. I think I'm gonna look at this as an easy mission <laughs> and uh, call it good. I'm going. Ready to Let me make sure he can get out, but he should be able to. Oh wow, barely. Location confirmed. And Abby, mm, let's make sure of her before I take anybody else out. Just in time. Yep, we got this. So we don't have to stick around and fight every last person. I think in this situation, most of my guys are colonels. We already have some wounds. So really, you know, why? Last thing I need is um, for Amber, to, you know, to get critical hit again and, and die. So 
the rating on my mission won't be quite as high. Whatever. I don't really care about that. Still excellent. So, as it is, we will have some hospital time. And that's unfortunate, but... Um, I don't know, especially after we did finally lose a couple guys, you know, um, first we had a couple of actual deaths and then we had a couple of captures and I don't know if we'll ever get those guys back or not. So any mission where we come back, like all of us come back, I'm very happy. So, and I'm happy that we took a black side out. That should drop at least one bar of progress. And now we'll worry about uh, making contact with whatever uh, resistance cells we need to to get to the next one. There's no way, I don't think, there's no way they're going to finish the Avatar project. Maybe I'm overstating it. Yeah, see, I still didn't get him his promotion. I might have if I could have got those turrets for him. But... Advanced laser sight. Okay. May end up giving that. Well, we'll see. Your team did a commendable see. job in destroying the aliens' facility, Commander. Their efforts towards the Avatar project will undoubtedly be set back by your incursion. Yeah, so we dropped it by one. I'm good with that. We can get supplies. You know, it's really funny. I, I, I just don't know that we need that anymore. It's so weird to say that, but I don't. So, in Africa, yeah, that's, I was just saying we don't really need it. What's this cost? 80, and I don't have 80. I don't even have 40. I get literal nothing. So, what we need to do is come here. We need intel, so let's get some. And our guys can heal up. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly, and definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe if not fatal trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. Mm. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. 
We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. Hmm. This being is something else entirely. Something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevail. Well, I'm very excited about this. Okay, so there is no... Commander? There's no research, no shadow project. So, what's my current objective? I literally have no current objective. That is strange. Oh. Priority message for the commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, it's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy. A final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth. Before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. Hmm. Objective added. I guess we have an objective. Okay. Is We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. So is this... It doesn't feel like the end of the game to me. Um... It feels like an important mission that leads up to the last one. Whew, so I won't have Paladin and I won't have Amber. Oi! And let me guess, I can't wait. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. Let me just see. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. Um. Well, this kind of sucks because if we had intel, which I was trying to get, we could do these things. So here's my question. Can I, you know, make, oh, yeah, we have to be able to let time pass because, oh, no, I see. I don't have to make contact. Normally you do. Can I just do this? I can. So I got Paladin back. I'm getting some intel. I got a shred storm cannon. Okay, that's good because I wasn't too impressed with the shredder gun. Um, I'm gonna do a little more. 
right. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about training anyone else. It seems like we're kind of past that now. So, not to be greedy, but I want Amber back. All right, I got Amber back. And I'm up to 38 intel, which is not a lot, but I don't know that we need to buy all the stuff on that list. Um, okay, I get Django back in a day. What was the... Um, Hmm. What were the costs here? Squad precision. My crit chance increases by 33. Oh, wow. I can take an extra soldier. One free use of run and gun. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So... God, to do all this, I need... A hundred and eight. Um, quite far away from that. I would like to be able to do that. So here's the question. Can I? Hmm. Well, yeah, but I got to do something in the meantime. Destroy the alien relay and I'll counter something hidden. Um, I can get an engineer and block two progress, which is meaningless at this point. I mean, I'm tempted to do this just so we don't have the guaranteed reinforcements. Um, but then there's this one just because there's fewer guys that we would have to fight. And honestly, right now, what we want is to go into that other fight healthy. So I guess what we'll do is, um, obviously, uh, I'm not doing it in this installment. So when we come back, we'll pick one of the guerrilla ops and we'll go do that. And then we just know that this mission is waiting for us in our near future. Uh, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.